What's up guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to Daily Dose of Transfer Gossip and today it's going to be Thursday the 22nd of August. And we have got a lot to get through today, so just before we get started, as always, if you could show support by leaving a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, make sure to press that subscribe button for daily FIFA content and press the notifications tab next to it to receive alerts about my videos. If you missed yesterday's video, it'll be down below in the description box. And actually, we're up like 6 p.m. by the way, instead of 7.30. So again, if you missed it, it'll be down below. And today's question of the day. It's going to be FIFA 18 themed and the question itself is how many coins do you reckon Maradona will cost next year on FIFA 18? So let me know your answers down below in the comment section. But now, let's jump on to confirmed deals. The very first player is somewhat of a FIFA Ultimate Team legend and has a Turkish striker called Shifki. Now I am sorry if I say his name wrong there, but the guy himself, back on FIFA 15 I think it was, he had 5 star skill moves. I have no idea if he still has it now, but he's actually joined Plymouth on loan from Celtic for the season. Thinking about it, I'm pretty sure his best card was probably back on FIFA 15. Next up we go on to Uchida, going to Union Berlin from Schalke for an undisclosed fee. And now we've got a Swiss centre back called Dakali going to Club Bruges in Belgium for a fee of £1.35 million pounds from a German team called Braunschweig. And yesterday, Birmingham City got three players on loan. The very first player was Carl Jenkinson. The second one, I think, was also from Arsenal, but he's not a FIFA alternate team. And also then confirmed after that, Sam Gallagher from Southampton last year, I think, is playing for Blackburn. Next up, we move on to Jeffrey Kondogbia. The transfer was featured in yesterday's episode, but I missed out one little detail. That detail, again, it's a loan deal from Inter Milan, but they have got the option to buy in there. And other reports are saying Joao Cancelo from Valencia is going the other way to Inter Milan on loan as part of the deal. And next up we've got Lewis Dunk, but it's not about him, it's about Brighton in general. And the player going to them isn't actually on FIFA 17 currently, and his name is Dormena. He's joined them from FC Zurich for an undisclosed fee, but apparently it's 15 million euros. And that is a very similar fee to what they paid for Esquerdo a couple of days ago. Next up we move on to a Turbe, going to Club Tijuana in Mexico from Roma on a loan deal. What I've read about the transfer is initially it is a loan deal, but on July 1st, 2018, so years time, they have to pay £4.5 million to make it a permanent. And since he joined Roma in 2014 for a fee of around £22 million, he's been part of so many loan deals. And now we've got a contract extension for a wonder kid that plays for Ajax, and the player is a centre-back called Delict. So he signed a four-year deal yesterday, taking it until 2021. And the Falcon fell on today, also featuring yesterday's episode, and that's going to be Sami Nasri. So at first, a lot of the papers were saying it was a £10 million fee that may be paid over a couple of years, but in fact, apparently, C didn't receive a single fee for him. So it looks like it may have been a free transfer instead of, again, £10 million. Next up, we move on to potential deals, and the very first player is it going to Tuba Akpom from Arsenal. So according to the Daily Mirror, Arsenal striker Tuba Akpom is wanted by Championship side Leeds United and Scottish champion Celtic. Leeds United are definitely in for a new striker because yesterday they sold Crystal to Burnley for around £15 million, and at Celtic they might be in for a striker if Dembele leaves. And next up, according to reports in France, it's said to be a crazy end of the window for OGC Nice. They're in the market for a centre-back, a left-back, or possibly two of those, a number 10, and a young forward. And that's without the Seri situation taken into consideration. So if Seri does go to Barca, the players bring in Ben Arfa, and also Gia Voggi, who's playing for Wolfsburg. So those two players, as well as the areas I mentioned a second ago. So overall, if they do sell Seri, it could be Ben Arfa, Gia Voggi, a centre-back, two left-backs, and a young forward. And potentially another number 10. And now according to Daily Mail, Valencia are interested in signing Manchester United's 21-year-old midfielder Andreas Pereira on loan. And last year I think he was actually out on loan to a Spanish team in Granada. And now we've got a player that unfortunately for him scored the wrong goal this weekend. That player is Michi Batshuayi. And according to Daily Mirror, French side Lille are preparing a £36 million offer for the Chelsea striker. Now I'm almost certain that at this point Batshuayi, he won't be going anywhere because it does seem this season he'll be getting more first team opportunities every now and then. Morata will be the main striker but with the whole Diego Costa situation right now, will he go back to Atletico Madrid, will he stay at Chelsea? We'll have to wait and see but I'm pretty sure at the moment he's Chelsea's second choice striker. And next up according to various different sources, Arsenal have offered Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain a four year contract worth £125,000 per week to fend off interest from Chelsea. And Arsenal won't want him to leave him a free transfer next summer, and they still seem very adamant this year he's not good anywhere. Arsenal do have a lot of players currently with one year remaining on their contract, and Oxlade-Chamberlain is on that list. 
And now we move on to Coutinho, and don't worry, I won't spend like two or three minutes talking about this one. Uh, basically today though, according to RAC1, Coutinho's entourage believe it is now practically impossible for the playmaker to join Barca from Liverpool this summer. And the reliable James Pearce has also said that Barca have finally admitted defeat in their pursuit of Coutinho. Jurgen Klopp, Michael Edwards and the owners were in full agreement that it was far too late in the window to recruit a good enough replacement. And Liverpool now believe that Coutinho will accept his fate, knuckle down and commit himself fully to the cause. And finally according to reports in Brazil, it is Barca manipulated Coutinho to threaten Liverpool and never play again as a tactic to increase the deal's likelihood. Coutinho's entourage confirms he never had the will not to play for Liverpool, but had to follow his representative's instructions. And Coutinho will in principle stay and play for Liverpool again, but most probably after the games against Ecuador and Colombia for Brazil. And my opinion on the situation, to keep it short, he's got a lot of apologising to do. And next up, according to Corey Della Sport, Arsenal have offered Jack Wilshere to AC Milan. Wilshere has been linked to the Serie A side in the past, but the 25-year-old midfielder has been reluctant to lead the Premier League. And for Arsenal's under-23s yesterday, he got sent off. And the Dane Mirror also said that Newcastle are still interested. And next up, we've got four pretty short ones for the BC Gossip page. And the very first player is it going to be Ben Gibson. Manchester City are on the brink of giving up on the signing of West Brom centre-back Johnny Evans. And instead, they'll now bid £20 million for Middlesbrough centre-back Ben Gibson. The next one is according to Telegraph. And they are saying that Tottenham are preparing a £20 million bid for injured Everton midfielder Ross Barkley. But they still face competition from Chelsea. And back onto the fee, if they get Ross Barkley for £20 million, that seems very cheap in this market. And now according to TalkSport, Newcastle have ditched their plans to sign striker Stefan Jovetic from Inter Milan. But they do remain confident over a deal for Sam Dora and Belgian midfielder Dennis Pryat. And my bad for saying his name wrong, but now we move on to Claudio Marchisio. And according to Gazzetta dello Sport today, Chelsea target Italian midfielder Marchisio has revealed he wants to leave Serie A champion Juventus. He literally only mentions Chelsea, but I think if he was available, a lot of teams would be after him. And now according to Lequeep, Tottenham are close to finalising an agreement worth more than 25 million euros with PSG for Serge Aurier. He's already agreed personal terms with Tottenham, and a deal is now dependent on a resolution of his legal situation. And if this does happen, by the way, for FIFA 18, that could be very, very overpowered. Next up, we go on to William Carvalho. According to A Bonner today, West Ham have agreed terms with William Carvalho, but clubs are still way apart on valuation. Sporting want 38 million euros plus 5 million euros in add ons. And now we've got three top tier players all into Monaco today, according to RMC. So Parry Monaco have made inquiries for Alexis Sanchez of Arsenal, Diego Costa of Chelsea, and Anthony Martial of Manchester United. And that may well tie into the final one today. That player is it going to kill Mbappe again into Paris Saint Germain. So according to DiMarzo today on Sky Italia, PSG are close to completing a deal to sign Mbappe from Monaco. They'll pay 140 million euros plus Lucas Moura. And of what I've read so far, Lucas, it'll be a permanent basis to Monaco. And DiMarzo has also said that Fabinho will join PSG alongside Mbappe. And that'll make the total fee for both players 220 million euros. And TF1 are saying that Fabinho's camp in the meantime wants to lock up a deal to PSG before the weekend. Both clubs are still yet to comment on the situation, that's somewhat expected. And Brian Swanson, who works at Sky Sports News, said that PSG have made a loan inquiry for Mbappe with an agreement to buy him next summer. They also mentioned how Lucas Moura will still be part of the deal and they're being mindful of UEFA for rules. But it also means they wouldn't be paying 360 million euros for Mbappe and Neymar in the same summer. And potentially even more on top of that with Fabinho. But Brian Swanson also tweeted saying PSG and Monaco are understood to be far from any agreement at this stage. So that was an hour after the previous part. So it might not be done just yet, but I imagine very soon we could see Mbappe at PSG. But that is going to be the final one for today's video. So as always, if you enjoyed it, show your support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, make sure to press that subscribe button for daily FIFA content and press the notifications tab next to it to receive alerts about my videos. If you missed yesterday's video, it'll be down below in the description box again. It's up at 6 p.m. instead of 7.30, so make sure to check it out. And today's question of the day, how much do you think Maradona will cost on FIFA 18? Let me know your answers down below in the comment section. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.